fucking Will and Jada. We ain't no bad marriage for life. I ain't doing that shit. But, uh, all right. Fifth topic. We got a scenario. I think we all been through this already, which is having Facebook friends, our social media friends, but I'm, I'm, I like to stick with Facebook because you can see more faces on Facebook versus Instagram, whatever. Um, have you had a Facebook friend that like or love your statuses, but when you see them in public, they don't ever speak. They don't even be like, hey, it's not like you wanted to be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Oh my gosh. You know, you just wanted to be like, hey. Have y'all, how do y'all feel about that? All right, don't matter to me. It don't matter to me. I will say there was a, there was a, because I recently went to South Carolina in October. And there was a girl, like, I was visiting my aunt at the daycare she worked at. They were having something for Halloween or whatever for the kids. And there was a girl there. And she was like, hey, Courtney. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because one, you know, my family in South Carolina, they don't call me Courtney. They call me Danielle. So I was just like, who's, who's calling me Courtney? <laughs> and so I was like, hi. And then she was like, you don't remember me, do you? And I was like, <laughs> No, not really. I, to be honest, I don't even know her name now. I forgot it. But she was like, my name is such and such. And I was like, when she said the name, I remember the name because I've seen her like my photos and stuff. But I don't remember ever meeting her. But she spoke. Okay. But I, I mean, I didn't care either way. So you're not pressed. You're not pressed for it. You're not like, this girl always liking my shit, but don't never. No. Why? <laughs> I still been- some people feel some type of way about that. Like, I see people that make sad and it's like, I'm like, does it really matter? And then it started making me think, because I'm like, because I don't get a whole lot of likes, but I don't care about that. But one thing that kind of made me be like, hmm, was when I see people in person, they be like, you are so funny. Oh, my God. And I'm like, but bitch, you don't be liking my, you don't ha 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 my stuff. Like, but I'm like, I'm confused. So that's the only thing that kind of make me be like, but I don't post things for, first off, I'm not posting it for a like, a laugh. It really be shit that be happening to me for real. And it just so happened to be funny. But I'm like, when they see me in person, they're like, you are so funny, girl. Oh my God. But they don't ha 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 the stuff, you know. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, well, I guess I prefer the the in-person award versus the virtual online award i guess i feel like it would well no not really it wouldn't bother me either way but i feel like for you i feel like you'd be more annoyed like well why you ain't like the pay like well, i thought about it i was like hmm. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it would bother you if it was the opposite for you that's how i feel like you would think i feel like you'd be like well i would like someone coming like, i love the podcast you'd be like i ain't never seen you in the comment <laughs> read the comments and stuff like that you know but it also should bring people out their shell as well too you know because sometimes you feel like like with Whitney Whitney I got to know Whitney more through the podcast like because of her comment in the thing and then her coming up here yeah. so Daniel so for you okay you sing right you're an artist you entertain so let's say they're not following you they're not sharing your work they're not doing nothing but yet when they see you at Walmart they're like bro that was good that was good my nigga, you know, which are you are you gonna feel some type of way like hold on, this nigga ain't he ain't subscribed, he ain't like, he ain't shared. The only reason why I won't I won't feel no type of way about that specific scenario, what you just said, is only because a lot of people don't follow my social media, but they'll come to my open mics or they'll come to my performances and just be like, oh, like they'll see me in Walmart. And they'll be like, oh, bro, like you was at the joint the other day. Yeah, you killed that. So that's why I never, I would never, I mean, I don't care either way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I just need the right person to see it. Not necessarily a lot of people to see it. You get what I'm saying? Right. So like, that's the reason why I put content out. It's not necessarily for the millions of views. Uh, it's Absolutely. more so I, I totally like, I don't care if I get 127. If three out of the 127 are in a place and a position to change my life, that's all I need. Right, right. Um, but as far as that specific scenario, um, I wouldn't think about social media. You know what I'm saying? I would be like, oh, he must have saw me somewhere. You know what I'm okay. saying? Um, now, 
I, it's funny that Brandon put it in the comments, but this is what I was thinking the whole time. Cause he said, um, I'm just saying, if you keep liking my stuff, cause you want me, you know, shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, since I've glowed up a little bit, got a little bit cuter and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I have had those thoughts. Like I've had to where like, you know, as a single man, I get, and especially if it's in succession of each other, like if, if they're like right after each other, like I just see, she liked your photo. She liked your photo. She liked the oh, status. Yeah, she liked yeah. the photo. And I'm like, what you want? Just, you know, my inbox is open. What? Like, <laughs> she, just, she just discovered you. Like, she's just like, oh, okay. But like, that's what we, heart, that was, heart, heart. I've had that, I've had that thought before is what I'm saying. Like right, not for right. everything, but like literally I've had that thought where it's just like, man, like you can just skip all the, me trying to figure this stuff out and just, you know, Hit yeah. the, the blue that is place. so interesting, Daniel. Because if she, let's say it's like five photos in a row, right? In your notifications, do you sit there and go to your inbox like, all right, she coming? She coming? <laughs> no, I don't sit. <laughs> no, I don't sit and look at my inbox. But it's it the thought is in my head like right. something's about to happen, and now she's gonna comment next, and that usually what happens. She comments, and it's just like, okay, this is it, well, something's about to happen, and then next thing you know, ding. What's up? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's happened before. So it's like, okay. that's the only thing that, you know, I've, I've thought of. But, like, as far as people that say stuff, and then I've I've gotten that. I've gotten, boy, your TikToks be cracking me up. And I literally said, I probably didn't know you TikTok. follow me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what, Girl, you know? we got some famous on the panel. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, we, oh, we know he famous. We know it's that. Right on the Jamel show is still accepting submissions. I'm not going to tell you again. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I saw a video of an amateur, and she made it to, like, the blue screen or whatever like that. And I was like, dang, Courtney is right. That could have been me. <laughs> send, me send me a link to that show so I can see what you're talking about. When you get time, send me a link to that so I know what, exactly what you're talking about. I, have oh, no I, said, I can send you videos. I, I'm telling you, it's, it's big. It's yeah, definitely I have no idea what started, so I'm pretty sure that the next one is going to be on at the end of the season. I just don't, I, don't, I, I mean, I'll do it. I'll shoot the What's shot. the worst that could happen? All they're going to do is say no. I turned out to be one of them people that's on American Idol that sound really bad and they laughing. <laughs> well, do you have a vocal coach? Do you have like a, you do? Uh, what not, a, well, not a coach per se, not a coach, but like training and stuff and people that okay, I still talk well, to. I mean, stuff, yeah. the only thing you can do is try it out. I tried out for a, a couple things, you know, um, famous. Ones. I got, they wanted me. They wanted me. I was going to be on TV, y'all. But guess who fucked it up? My cousin. Oh. Who? You? No, I'm gonna say you. I got, listen, <laughs> listen, light camera action. I'm whatever you need me to be, baby. I'm a chameleon. But it was my cousins, like them fucking potheads. But anyway, oh, no. one of one of them smoked so damn much with the ring light on. He he passed the fuck out. Damn, they talking about it's hot in here. Is it just? He did the damn Wendy Williams shit. Like he about to pass the fuck out. And so they was like, we really want you. We really want you. So they gave me another opportunity. So I go get. Mind you, it's hard picking in person because I was going to be gone for seven weeks. Who do you know that does not have a job that can come on the road, travel with me from state to state for seven weeks? Everybody got jobs. Hence, while you see I'm doing the show on a Sunday, you know, everybody got jobs. So then the other cousin, he just didn't fit the look. He had dread. He was a black. He was black. <laughs> Uh, he just didn't fit the look for what they wanted on TV, which I was going to I was gonna pitch to them. I was going to say, listen, yeah, he got a little record, but you got to take this opportunity to spin it around and be like, he got out the streets. He's using this opportunity to cook and, and get out the streets. And, you know, it's going to be a success story if they would have just let me go that far, but they was just like, no. I tried out for a play in the eighth grade and didn't get it and haven't tried out for anything since. Girl, <laughs> are you yeah. surprised though? We literally had a whole segment on why don't we shoot your shot? I can't, I just can't even think about the rejection. I just can't, <laughs> I don't know what I would do if they said no, and I would just want to know why that they said no. And <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not, as, I'm, not as I timid. I'm not as timid as Courtney, but I don't shoot my shot at guys either. Like, oh, um, God. 
no, no. So this is why, because I feel like I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So I'd rather the guy come to me so I know, okay, he's interested in, in me. So of course I do the virtual background check and I, you know, go through the page and I'm like, mm, no, or either, okay, you know, but most of the time it's, mm, no, you know, and then most of the time they already my got question for that. Here's my question for that. Why, why is it that, okay, why, why is it that, I understand the stigma that the man is a predator, you know what I'm saying, the things of that nature, the hunter, per se. Like but that's why I said, that's why I said hunter. That's why I said hunter. That's why I said hunter. I changed it real quick. But you get what I'm saying. Right. Um, the, the man's supposed to be the hunter, supposed to go after his woman, things of that nature. But in in this event, right, I always said, and I even said it before, if more women shot their shot, more women would be in relationships. Because well, men men think the same way that y'all be thinking like, okay, I'm tired of getting turned down. Like I'm tired of getting told no. So I ain't going to tell, I ain't going to tell nobody. I'm just going to see if they come to me. That's what's going on. Okay, happen. first off, change up your accent. Cause that's scaring me. Cause it's giving me learning disability. <laughs> like, I ain't, I ain't. But that's how people be talking though. Right? <laughs> that's but you how know people what? You know what, Daniel? You make a good point. Cause you see, this is why you here. Because you might be right when you, you hit it on the head for me when you said they probably getting tired of girls turning them down. And then in my head, it started spinning real quick. Like, if I did shoot my shot at somebody, they might be like, damn, I you know she she like it. You like, like me. Right. Let me tell you. I glowed up a little bit. Like I keep saying, I glew up or glowed up a little bit. I okay. having a conversation with um a female from my first semester in college. Okay. And we ain't talk. And this is 2011. It was like 2018 when I when we find each other on Facebook or whatever like that. And she asked me. She was like, "Why you ain't never said nothing to me? Why you ain't never? Why you ain't never like we could have went and and then on the day we could have literally she verbatim she said we could have been married by now. And I'm like, Aww. okay, I did like I did like her. I thought she was a very beautiful young woman. But the thing is, like at that moment in time in college, like I wasn't I wasn't as confident as I am now. Right, right. And, but I asked her, why didn't you say nothing to me? Because I didn't know what you would say. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, look, uh oh. Check I this went. out, Courtney. Court, check this out, Courtney. Going by Daniel's logic, right? So, I'm going to shoot my shot at my social media press, right? The one that's getting married? <laughs> fuck his fiance. Because uh, Daniel, <laughs> I am rhythm, told me I need to shoot my shot. <laughs> First of all, what do not put my name say? in nothing. Did hey, not tell you to look, shoot let me say this in the mic. Let me say this in the mic. Let me say this in the mic. Uh, if you watching this and she <laughs> slides in your DL to the fiance of this man, do not try to come find me, okay? Because I did not condone this type of behavior. <laughs> I'm talking about two single people. First time, first time, no, you told me she was first. I fuck his fiance, and I'm pulling up like a young blue. Uh, what that song called? At that uh, wedding, at the wedding, we had that blue card. Or exactly what you talking? About? Look, I'm going to the wedding. <laughs> It'd be like, oh my god, so I always, object. <laughs> but no, I don't forever hold your peace. I, I object. Oh He's supposed to be with me. Right, he really is supposed to be with me. Like, there's oh a lot god. of context clues to show that he's supposed to be with me. But you know what? Fuck him, cause I'm, I'm getting over this. I'm slowly getting so, over him. You know? That's what I'm saying. Find somebody of available. I mean, I'm not saying you. Should, <laughs> but I'm just saying I'll go to the wedding with you. I'm not even going. Like they make me. I'll film it. On my nerves. Like I'm sick I'm of this. Happy, I'm sick of this happy, happy, happy shit on my timeline. Like I'm, I'm really about to block the ass. Like for real, straight. Oh up. my gosh, leave him and her alone. Let them be happy. How about that? Okay. Nope. All right. Nope. It's because of y'all that men be messing up. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. It's a joke. I'm just, <laughs> don't crucify me. Step out of his happy home, supposedly. Uh, Damon said, "Why didn't you talk to the girl, Daniel, after y'all reconnect?" We did. We talked for a while. We like, talked. Are, like, are you asking like relationship wise or just like we never? Okay, so we never got into a relationship because we like she was she was from another a whole other state. You know what I'm saying? Like she went to college in Columbia. We both went to Benedict, but she was from a whole nother state. So we when we reconnected and things of that nature, it, we we were talking, but it was just the distance. We just kind of like 
uh, yeah, I, hate long relationships. I don't mind long distance relationships but it takes a lot of effort and at that moment in time i was like i i don't just have the energy for that so we did we talked you know what i'm saying we talked for a while but it just didn't it didn't really go anywhere there wasn't like sparks you know what i'm saying but, but the, the point of this is you're saying if neither party say anything nobody's gonna know what it could have been you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take and my thing is you can't expect to win the game when having somebody trying to score in your basket you have to shoot the shot so you can score put me on you the bench <laughs> That's just you talk about put me. There's some people that just I, and I get you, Courtney. I, and I'm joking. You know, I'm, you know, I joke when I we we've known each other a long time. You know, I joke on you, but like I get I get that. But at the same time, like I'm just saying, like sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone. No, no, no don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a beautiful thing when women shoot their shot. I think when women propose, I think that's a beautiful thing. No. Uh-uh. Let me no. let me finish my thought. Let me finish okay. my thought. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm I think my thought it's after a beautiful that. thing that women will take initiative when it comes to the aspect because society looks at men is supposed to be the person to approach, men are the person to propose, men are the you know they're the advancers in all these things. So I think it's a very beautiful thing when women want to you know take take their hand in that. However, Courtney Daniel Davis <laughs> will not. Um. My only rebuttal to that is you propose to me, I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to come back the next weekend and propose to you, and then I expect you to say yes. That's like, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, don't propose to me. Like, if you want, if you're, if you want to shoot your shot to me, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But if we're together, let me have that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's every real man's dream. Just like I'm it's gonna, every real woman's any, dream to any be Any guy watching to. the podcast, any guy on here, if you're a woman, like say you were in love with this woman and she proposed to you, would you accept the proposal? I just want to know. I think the guys that's watching are going to be like, girl, if you don't put that ring up, let, Bruh, him, like, I would look let at a you. man do what he's supposed to do. But yeah, answer it's, that question. If she proposed, would y'all say yes at the cookout? Because it's going to be around family. I'll answer it now. I mean, okay. I'll be like, girl, if you don't get up off your knee. You want to marry this girl. She will get you to. That's exactly what I'm going to be. I'm going to look. You sound like, get up. I'm going to smile. I'll be like, oh, this is so sweet. Get up. Get up off your knee. Now. You best not. No. Brandon that's just no. it's just me it's just me like i can't i can't speak for nobody else but i don't think I, it's I, just I you to. i just think it's like like a uh, ego thing like men have egos they be like what is you doing like and then on top of that if a woman does that that's kind of like some pressure type shit like it's what pressure you know what i'm glad you said that i didn't that's want pressure. that to come out of a man's mouth <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but that's I, some pressure I, that's some pressure because at this point it's, it's like now because if my thing is this, and it's still a it's it's a double standard. What I'm about to say is a double standard, and I hate it, but I hate double standards, but it's still a double standard. Because if, if we propose and then a woman says she's not ready, then a lot of people be like, Oh man, you just need to break over her. You know what I'm saying? But literally, like it's the double standard, but some men see it as you proposing to me, you're not waiting for me to propose to you, so you don't want to wait for me. You don't want to wait for my timing or our what I feel like is a, the right time, because a lot so, of times that's what it is. When a guy uh, proposes, you don't think that's pressure. Either? That's why I said it's a double standard. That's why I said it's a double standard. I'm just saying what men. Usually, would when think. a guy proposes, it's not like it's done within a year or two. It's done well, like three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, like marching. Most, of, but most men, I most of being with somebody for seven years and not getting married. Listen, I ain't been with no facts. I ain't gonna say Facts. that because they're gonna think I'm talking about them. I ain't, Ooh. <laughs> I ain't always gonna say numbers, but then I, I'm gonna have people be like, "You talking numbers. about me?" I, I, I mean, I was I, in a long relationship. I, I was in a long relationship, and we didn't get married. But I'm just saying, like now, I'm not being with someone for seven years. But half but, your longest relationship, but you was are in you high happy? School, though. But no. I, you can choose to ignore this question if you want to. No, y'all was together oh, for a long time. I'm sorry. Right as right now, would you be like? Oh, I, I wish he would have proposed me. Are you like, oh, I'm glad I didn't. That wouldn't. Say that one more time, Ashley. I'm sorry. Because she said she was in a long relationship. And so she said she wouldn't go that long again, like without some type of commitment or whatever. 
I'm so not I'm going. I would look back hmm. on that relationship. I'm not talking about like the stage where you're still getting to know each other. I'm not counting that in. So if it's okay. a year to the get the day that you said we're going to be boyfriend like and girlfriend, to, like we want to be together, I'm not yeah. counting that year. I'm saying from the time that we say that we are together, right. we're, we're letting everybody know this. I'm talking about from that moment. I'm not waiting seven years for you to be like, do you want to marry me? Because I would. I always felt like almost that. Almost a decade to figure out if you want to marry me. My, but listen, that being said, I'm not going to be the girl to start leaving wedding magazines around either. I'm not going to be like, have you thought about the future? Like, I'm not doing that. But you got to have a conversation sometimes. I mean, if it comes up organically, I'm not going to be like the person to be like, um, you know, be like, that was such a beautiful wedding. Um, when is ours? But after a while, <laughs> After a I while, think you should you gotta... discuss that in the beginning. Like, do you want to get right, married? Right. In the beginning, like, right. like my conversations with guys is, do you want to have children? Like, do you want to have more children? Because most, married? most, most guys already have children. You know. Right. No, um, I'm saying like I'm not gonna lead them on. Like, I want you to ask me to marry me because you want to marry me, not because right, I'm right, right. And, and I totally, I, I totally mean. understand that. But I think that I think at a certain time, a certain length women do have to apply pressure because men get content. They hit that plateau and they're like, oh, we coasted. We good. I don't gotta, I don't gotta step up those stairs. So sometimes like some men and some men be like, yeah, I want to marry you. Like I, I do want to marry, but I just it just never crossed my mind. I've literally heard that conversation before. And like, I don't understand never, that. I don't understand I've heard that, that too. Either. I've heard that too. But I'm I don't like, understand I that do either. not but I think it's because but his reasoning say, get, is like, so I'm used to this, right? right. And they a lot of so men don't like change and that's another we, form of commitment. If mm-hmm. we talked and you know I want to get married, why would you think that I would just be complacent just being together for years on end? I don't understand that. So I what's the think, time frame then? So, so I think if you're going to talk about in the beginning, like after, you know, y'all done dated, now y'all in the relationship and y'all talked about credit score because danielle has said something about that she's like in the beginning when i meet a guy i'm not we're not discussing my finances so right. after you made that decision like with boyfriend girlfriend this is exclusive now you start talking about the important shit the credit score the debt the kids the marriage so now what is the in numbers what is the time frame where you like okay i ain't about to be seeing him this much longer so so is it reasonable to say three years yeah so let's say six months you got to know each other. Like y'all spent hella time together. Now y'all six months in, y'all boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, you don't drop everybody. You only talk to this person. Now y'all exclusive. So now y'all three years, six months in. Is it now time for the proposal? Is it now time to be like, I don't, so for, what for me, it ain't going to take, it ain't going to take me three and a half years. I would I, say at the, oh, go ahead, Courtney. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're good. Cause I want to hear your, your side of this being as a man that would, like, because I think you were trying to say, like, how long it would take you to decide if yeah. you want to marry this person. But I think I could probably, I could probably do four, close to okay. five years. Okay. Yeah, I think it I don't, do four close it to don't, five. it don't take me that long. And I'm gonna be well, honest. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, men, I'm, it doesn't take that long. I've heard. No, but it's the problem is the men, though. Like it, I, I'm stepping on toes, but a lot of times I'll give I'll give you a very true story. My mom used to date this guy <laughs> who before they got together, he was engaged for 15 years. This is not a lie. This is not a lie. He was engaged with this woman for one five years. I'll tell you another story. I went in food line in Florence. And um, this girl had this big old rock on. And I'm like, man, that's a nice ring. Like, how long have you been married? And she was like, oh, I'm not married. I'm engaged. And I was like, oh, okay, dope. How long? And, you know, when, you know, when's the wedding? We haven't set a date yet. Oh, he just proposed. Uh, we've been engaged for four years. I said, four years? As a matter of fact, I put a post on that night and we had a conversation about it. Um, my thing is, like, a lot of times, a lot of times men use that tool use the proposal use the engagement as a way for them to, to string them along to string them along mm-hmm. keep them like oh i'm engaged you know what i'm saying they're doing the whole beyonce thing and it's like he has no they even set a date and they've been engaged for five years for me like to answer that question for me it don't take me that long it don't take me that long to know if i want to be with you you know what i'm saying like that's why i hate people be like i'm in the talking stage for 
12 months. It don't take me that long to know if I want you to be my girlfriend. It don't take me that long. I would say right at the end of three years, I'm thinking about proposing. I'm thinking okay. about what's going to happen right at, excuse me, right at the end of two years, not three years, right at the end of two years, but it's technically three years. If we're talking like what Courtney's saying, we're in the talking stage for a year and then we're together for two years. You know what I'm saying? At the end of that two years, I'm thinking, no, okay, yeah, this is, this is going to be my future. Okay, so you know after saying? you propose, then what is the time frame for the actual wedding? Is it the typical I, within a at year? At max, at max a year. And that's only because I'm bougie and I want a big wedding. Yeah, that's like, what I was going to say. I was going to be like, um, I was going to be like, I think a lot of people do the year thing for one, to make sure their family know that, that they can come get the vacation. Right. Get yourself also, together. Because yeah. you got to save money now. But I right. feel like, I but feel I, like, I, I, that's I'm a whole sorry. other conversation. I think like we should start saving money now because you know you want if you know you want to get married, like yes. go ahead yes. and start saving money now. At like, the moment that wait. I'm thinking about proposing is when I'm I'm getting the money for that ring, but I'm also putting money aside for that wedding. Because like I said, I know I, I I know I feel almost feel bad for anybody that says yes to me because I know I don't want. I know simple wedding. I just don't like. I'm I'm boozy. I want an elegant, extravagant wedding, and that's what I'm going to have. I you know what I'm saying? You. I got my colors. I got my the, the like, colors, my nigga. Like, yeah, like, like potential colors, potential colors. Because obviously, what are they? Like, give me three. What what are they? My colors are so I want an olive green and gray hmm. with the with the bridesmaids like. Ooh, Something they, they gonna tear like... your ass up. My phone will be ringing <laughs> off the hook. I like <laughs> the olive green. I don't like the gray. But no, I but like, that nigga know his wedding colors. Like, and look, I'm just, like, but I'm just, different. I'm just saying, and it's no, it's no softness. It's just I don't like the fact. You know, uh, I think I'm, I think that I'm, I'm scarred from Bridezilla. I used to watch that with my mom all the time, and really? I'm scarred from. No, you would be surprised how many men want colors want the cake a certain way want the food a certain way but they sit there because their fiance is telling them you this is my day you just show it up oh yeah well you know i don't see you Otis. <laughs> right they came to see me they don't stand when no, you come down the aisle if, they stand you, what i do <laughs> if you pay if you pay attention to engagement photos and wedding photos men do love that shit because they got their boys you. with the shades on they got I'm the tux they got they, they, they throwing up sign like I know Men what I want to do, do when I like, come I out. To that stuff. Like, I know what I want to do when we come out. I know what I want my groomsmen to do when they come out. Like, it's just, I want to be as involved as my wife. I love that. I would want my, whoever I'm in, I want them to be involved as possible. The only right. thing, there's some things that I will not compromise on. Is What's what? That? There's some things that I won't compromise on. Like, like what? My three dresses. Actually, you know, I want my three dresses. I'm having mm -hmm. three dresses. And the amount of bridesmaids I want. Okay, how many, Courtney? See, that's ever. that's fine because I want like okay. the, the amount of bridesmaids that I want. Don't like I want groomsmen. I have like friends, friends, brothers. Like I have, I want a big wedding, and people be like, oh, "I want something simple." That's you. That's fine. Wow. I hope that you don't want to be with me because you need to find seventeen people. Seventeen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing a number. I'm just throwing a number. I'm just throwing a number. Okay, so my number, number is it was. Sick, but I forgot somebody when I was thinking about this the other day. It's actually seven. Okay, that's not bad. Seven's that's not, not bad at all. Yeah, girl, I was thinking like, my geez, thing I was thinking like ten or twelve. I'm like, come on, yo. My thing is that if whoever I'm marrying, if they don't know seven people, like if they don't have seven friends, we gotta start pulling cousins or something. Well, usually it's for it's family anyway. That's yeah. it's not just straight friends. It's like, no, it's gonna be family and everything. I like I got, and I have. That's just that's just the thing, and that's the reason why. Like I said, a number like seventeen. I didn't really technically mean seventeen for me, but like if my wife said, "Hey, I'm in a sorority and I want my whole line there," and her whole line is like nine deep, and then she got a sister, and then she got a, a favorite cousin. Now I'm gonna have to call and be like, "Look." And I'm right. fine with that, though, because I would love a big wedding. Not a long, drawn-out wedding. We might have to come up four by four instead of two by two. <laughs> We're going to get this thing done. But, I like, that's what I want. My situation would be different if I... I, I keep thinking. When I get married, uh, my situation would be different because you know how they have, like, what is the maid of honor and the, the groomsmen? Like, yeah. my the person that would be standing behind me would be a guy. Like, and I think he already know who he is. But it would be a guy. So... 
my wedding would already be kind of different. And I, I, I want it small, like not that many people standing up there. The reason why is because when I used to watch Brazilla and people be like hate, hating and jealous, people don't be showing up on time for fitness. People be like, oh, I ain't got the money for this. Like, I ain't going through all that. So, but that's how you I want a destination though, wedding. So, I'm letting y'all know now. Y'all will be flying out. It's a destination wedding. I'm so. I'm a, actually, I don't care what you do with your wedding. As long as I'm a bridesmaid, because I feel like I have deserved that spot. I feel like I earn it. That's the only thing I care about. I'm not going to say I deserve the groomsmen spot, but I at least deserve to be able to sing somewhere in this wedding. I just think that you should. Listen, you know your I know. I <laughs> right beside Ashley. I don't have to be the maid of honor. I ain't got to do all that. I just know I'm a bridesmaid, whether she want me to or not. Or I'll knock everything down in that wedding. Listen, I, like I said, it's, it's going to be really exclusive to the people like, oh, you fucks with me? Oh, well, you booked your ticket yet? Like, you just not come here getting drunk and eating good and electric sliding all across my dime. No. Yeah, like, and then I don't need you buying no gifts for me because I'm good. Didn't someone have a question? Yeah, Brandon said, do you prefer being with someone, somebody that has multiple kids or zero to one kids? Uh, we touched on this, Brandon, but I'll quickly... Uh, I talk about this again. Uh, me and Courtney prefer no kids. Daniel, he got his stepdaddy license, you know, so he don't mind. I don't know if he has a number. I'm gonna say two for him, you know, but he seems like a lovable. No, guy. I said I, I said the number. Two. Three? I said three max. Three yeah, max. Said, three max. Okay. You got more than that. We're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> Does baby daddies Ooh. matter? Can it be three baby daddies or or do it matter? Oh, I'm sorry. Three different baby daddies? Yeah. How many baby daddies is your within your equation? I don't think I've ever thought of that. I don't think I've ever thought of that. Oh, you got it. Um, um, Three kids, how many baby daddies? It depends on the situation. Let me tell you why. Okay, I'm not going to do this long, drawn out thing because I know we're we're done. But the only reason why I say it depends on the situation is because if if you have multiple baby daddies and one of them is just not in his life, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's content with getting the money taken out of his account. And as far as baby, you know, child support, I'm, I'm chilling. And even if he's, if they're straight, like if they're not drama filled, if they're not causing issues, it wouldn't necessarily bother me. But if you, you know, what I'm saying and that, that's, I guess that goes for one baby daddy too. Like if you got a baby yeah. daddy that's crazy, I'm, I'm sorry. Like you're a great girl, but I, I can't deal with this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it just depends on the situation. But yes, I renewed my stepdaddy license last month, so I'm good. Currently, uh, so uh, multiple kids. How many kids? No kids. How, I mean, I quickly. do. What did I say? You said you like two. No kids. You prefer no kids, but I prefer no kids, but we know that's very unlikely, right? And you also very said unlikely. because of the fact that you, I don't want kids, right? So that might it, it helps ease the pain. You of know, I, I want to touch on. I want to. We need to come back on that and touch on that because, like. We need a, a guy. Brandon, what do you feel about that? Because you're very active. What do you feel about a woman? Would you date a woman? Let's say you want more kids. Even though Courtney's beautiful, she got her shit together. Would you skip over Courtney because she does not want children? <laughs> or would you be like, or would you sacrifice and be like, you know what? Courtney's the love of my life. Oh, Fuck it. I'm just not going to have kids because she doesn't want it. Or would you just be like, I want more kids. I want kids. So I want to talk about that. Like, I want to talk about guys that want children, but the woman that they may be with be like, uh, uh. I think it, I think it makes just as much importance as um woman that, like, in your situation, court, uh, not court, sorry, Ashley, um, if you met a guy that didn't want kids, even though you want kids, I think that oh, would I, be... Oh, I skipped too. over his ass. I stopped talking. Yeah. yeah. yeah I well... <laughs> You and me and Ashley have talked about this. I right now my answer is I don't want kids. However, you've already to told you've already told me this, so I, I know exactly what you're about to say. I think I told everyone this because I yeah, yeah. talked about it in the thing too. Um, however, you're inclined to change your mind. It's circumstances. If he's a great guy, he got to be one hell of a guy. No, because I don't want to have kids for the guy. <laughs> I want to have kids for myself. Like, okay, so, mm-hmm. right, I don't want kids. Right now, my statement is I don't want kids. However, I have had baby fever in the past. But, you know, I kind of got over it. When you see, like, a badass kid in the store, and you're like, that's why. You but, um, 
but I mean, it could change. It could change. I just know right now my mind is not set on not having kids. But to say that I wouldn't have baby fever in the future since I've had it in the past, I can't say that. Well, all right then. We're going to close out the show on. <laughs> Let's get There's Courtney. a possibility that Courtney might, you know. <clears throat> Let's get Courtney pregnant. All right. Let's... So, uh... <clears throat> yeah, she's been trying to, to get you out there. <laughs> The like, whole show. Pick me out of something. Talk about a Zoom call, personal Zoom, Zoom call. call. That's gonna be the baby daddy after a while. <laughs> no, hell no. Let's get You're her right. pregnant. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So, any anything y'all want to wrap up? Y'all want to? I mean, yeah. Cause, uh, so, oh, so basically, the scenario five about uh, people liking or loving your Facebook status and stuff, and then you seeing them in person. I think we all kind of agree, like, we don't care, per se. We don't care. Um, you know, just... Yeah. If, you laugh, if you laugh at my shit in person when you see me, just just ha high on social media. Just, you know. But well, my thing is, how would you, how would you know that they saw you? Or is it like they're saying, like, oh, I saw your stuff on Yeah, like, I'll, oh, be I'll be at Walmart. I'll be at Walmart. I'll be at Family Doll. I'll be at Dollar Tree. And they're like, girl... You're so funny, you know. I'm like, thank you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now. And then I'd be like, she ain't like my stuff, you know. She ain't laughed at it, but I don't care. Um, you know, but yeah. So, um, this is great. Uh, see you guys next week. Thank you, Brandon, for being very active tonight. I we'll see you on thanks, Brandon. Yeah, we will see you on the next episode. You know, just yeah. I'm gonna call you when I get in the car too, Brandon. You got that thing tonight? The, I got um, an open mic tonight. Yeah, okay. if y'all not doing nothing, you know what I'm saying, and you around the Florence area, come hang out with your boy. I'm hosting an open mic. I host an open mic at Absolute Hookah Lounge every Sunday. I get there at 10, 30, 11, just because of the podcast, but it starts at 10. So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come chill with your boy. Well, all righty then. Peace out. Okay, let me stop the one. Did you press the button?